So I brought Grammy here because we want to talk to you about the results, okay? Sure. So um, it is completely clear that you were not honest during the testing, and I think you already know that. Um, you did not pass the polygraph test. Okay. Right? Okay. So now we need to talk about what actually happened. And I feel like you're probably ready to do that. Uh, I didn't. I didn't lie to you on that polygraph. I promise, Chris. I, I'm. I'm. I'm Chris, stop. It's time. I. Just I'm stop for a minute. Take a deep breath. I. I want you to take a deep breath right now. There's a reason you feel sick to your stomach, and when people hold stuff inside, it makes you physically ill. And I can just tell on your face, I could tell you tell from the second you walked in that you were wanting to just come clean and just be done with this. And I appreciate that because you knew sitting down in that chair that you weren't going to pass today. And you knew I was going to find out because I told you that. And then you continued to stay knowing that you could at the end say, you know what, I just need to get this off my chest. Like I just need to tell you what happened. We're not, we're not here to play games. We're not here to do any of that with you. We just want to know what happened. So can you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Everything that I've, to, I've told you, I did, I did not lie on this polygraph. I am, I don't know how much I could, I could tell you right now. Like, I did not. It's, it's, not I even, it's not even an option right now because you did not pass the polygraph. I so I know you were being deceptive. So that's not even an issue, an issue right now. The issue right now is what happened to Shanann, Bella, and Celeste. That's the issue right now. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about that. I've I know I know you want to tell us. I, I can I can see it in your face. Holding this lie in is gonna do nothing for you. I I know this. Like okay. I'm not like trying to like cover things up like it Yeah but you kinda are because and and no, it's normal. Normal people would do that. Normal people that make a mistake initially are going to go, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. That's normal. I would expect that. It's just like if you ask your kid, you know, did you write on the wall? And they go, no. And you're like, I, you have a marker on your hand. Like, I know you just wrote on the wall. And they're like, oh, okay. That's a natural reaction that someone's going to initially lie about something like that and then eventually tell the truth. So this is your eventually telling the truth time. This is where this is where the rubber meets the road, Chris. Like, don't let this continue any longer, please. I, I'm not trying to make anything continue. Like, I want them back home. Like, but you know they're not coming back home. You know I, that. I don't know in the back of my head. I I hope they come back home. But you know they're not. I I hope they come back home. Mm -hmm. And I don't know they're not coming back home. Chris, Timmy and I are confused. Okay. And here's what we're confused about. I told you that we've done some work overnight. Yeah, I told you that we've got a lot of beliefs. Okay, that wasn't a lie. I know. We know a lot more than you think we do. Okay. And here's what we're confused. You're this great guy. I'm not just telling you that, okay? I'm telling you that because everyone tells us that. Okay? We can't find anyone to say anything bad about you. Chris is a great guy. He's a good father. He's a good man. We're confused as to why you're not taking care of your beautiful children. I'm not taking care of them right now. Right now. Where are they? I don't know where they're at. I honestly, I do not know where they are at. If I could have my babies back home right now, I would. I want them back. I want everybody back. That is the God's honest truth.
Well, there's two Chris's. Okay. We talked about that last night. Yes. We just can't figure it out. There's a Chris. Okay. If somebody asked me my fifth child or teen, I would say, I don't know, go ask them all. That's the truth, right? And so it is very surprising to me and it warms my heart that you're the type of dad who can pack a bag in the morning and you know just what to put in there and you know just what to put in there as a backup in case they have an accident, okay? You know what the clothes to put in there, you know what they have for breakfast, you know what they have for a snack and a dinner and a nighttime snack. You can tell me the book you read to your daughters, okay? I know you love them and you're not faking that, are you? That's real, okay? There's a lot of guys who come in here and try to tell me that and I know they're lying, okay? Because they can't answer those questions that you can answer, okay? But you are here today lying about something else. So we need to talk about that, okay? About you, daughter. I know. And this is very good. Keep I, 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 I'm not proud of it. I, I don't think anything like that could happen. I don't think I'd ever do it, but I did. I know. Keep going. And she accused me of it. I denied it. Like, I, I she was on her, and I feel horrible for it. Like she was pregnant, and it was. I don't want. I didn't hurt her. I cheated on her. I hurt her emotionally. I cheated on her, and I feel absolutely f horrible about this, but. That's what I've been holding. I, I when I, I didn't go to the Rocky game, I was with her. Okay. I went to dinner with her. Okay. Keep going. That five weeks I was alone. I was with her most most of the time. Okay. You're doing a good job. This is the Chris that I knew would come out today. This is the Chris who tells the truth because you're a truth teller. I'm going to tell you I fell out of love because I fell in love with her. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, that's the truth. God's honest truth. Okay. Who is her? So I, I don't want to get her involved in this. I don't want to ruin her life. Like, it's some, something like this. I don't want her involved in this. Okay. So can we talk about that a little bit? Yes. I knew that you would say you didn't want to get her involved. But I, I just because I because you like she's, to take care of she's a wonderful person. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, she knew I was married. Yes, and I told her we we're going through issues. Yes, yes. And I told her that you know we we're going to get you know at the end like we we're going to get separated. Like once I figured out what that was, I didn't know what that was going to be. I know. I had no idea. I, I like you know. I saw her, took my breath away, and I'd never thought in a million years that could happen. I know. I don't even think of a figure about um like but like it was I never felt that way about anybody like anybody in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. Chris, that's not your fault. Man. No, I'm I'm that's I, I, no, 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 I'm just well, I'm, can we do this? Um, I know you want to take care of her because be, it's because you're a type of guy who takes care of women. It is. You took care of your wife, you took care of your daughters, you were very good at taking mm -hmm. care and you want to take care of her. So can we make a deal? I don't think this girl did anything to hurt anybody, okay. but I can't walk out of here wondering. So can we leave her out of it and okay. get back to your wife and your daughters? Okay. Where are they? That I do not know. That was what I was holding back. Like I didn't know like Chris, what I did. Chris, I know. Chris, in the interview today, you weren't asked about infidelity. You were asked about that was I was holding back from last night. That's when not you why you failed today. That's not how that works. You would have reactions to every single question, not just the ones that we talked about being important. Like the ones you wanted me to lie about. I like is that what you're talking about? No, the ones about her disappearance mm -hmm. and knowing where she's at and about what you about seeing her last. I was not lying about those things. Can I, can I tell you what I think? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going into that interview today with Tammy, where we strapped you in. We knew, we knew all about Nikki. Okay? All about her. And you're doing a very
very good job right now because you didn't have to tell us about it, but you did. Uh, so I could hold that in anyone. I know. I, 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 we could see it in your chest I can. and in your eyes. Okay. Here's the challenge that we have. We knew about Mickey, and so we didn't need to ask you about her in the polygraph. We just didn't need to, because we knew. Okay. And so that's why we didn't ask you, because we already knew the answer. Okay. We're very, very worried about your daughters and your wife. I am too. Okay. So can I tell you maybe, um, based on the people that I've talked to, and Tammy's talked to, based on all the investigations we've done, based on your cell phone, both your cell phones, your wife's cell phone, Nikki's cell phone, okay? Based on talking with family members and friends and based on talking with everyone. Here's what we know, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to you right now, here's what we know, okay? Chris is a good man, everyone said it. Okay, I'm not just telling you that because I you know, wanna blow smoke here, you're a good man, okay? Nobody can fake answers about packing a backpack. Nobody. You either pack a backpack for your kids or you don't. Okay? This should have been the happiest time of your marriage. Okay? You and Shanann. This should have been the happiest time. She's making a little money. She's making good money. You're making great money. You both have a job. You have beautiful kids. You have a beautiful house. You're in Colorado. Clean air. Good people. Okay? And on top of that, you look pretty good now. You're pretty fit, okay? This should have been a time in your marriage where you guys were happy and thriving and productive, okay? And I believe that Shanann's the reason none of that happened. I believe that she's a controlling person. Maybe doesn't listen to you as much as she should. I think that she can do whatever she wants and you can't, okay? I think if you were to go to a restaurant, she would order whatever the hell she wants. And as soon as you order a nice steak, she says, whoa, buddy. Okay? A woman that lets her man do all of the backpack packing and all of the cooking. I do all the cooking, but like she cooks like five yeah. or like ten things here and there. Okay. That's because you're a good person, and I think that she started on the path to leave the marriage. Okay. It's ironic that we're talking about you and Nikki. I think that she was the one who started on that path first. What do you think about that? I wouldn't have thought about that. Okay. And the other thing I think is interesting is, even though she is that type of person that's controlling, doesn't listen, does what she wants, is walking away from her kids, here you are defending her. Because to your core, you want to take care of the people you love. Okay. Now that's the reason why we want to give you an opportunity today to just help us find them. Okay. Will you do that for us? I'll do whatever I can to help to find them where they're at. Okay. So when she asked you, do you know where they are, or are you going to tell the truth about where they are, you failed miserably. Okay. Why? I'm, I'm a nervous person. Like every question I asked, every question it felt like I did. I wouldn't even say the right thing. That's not how the polygraph works. I don't like. I don't know like what it reads like. Through, I know she was saying about the autonomy of of the process, but like I don't know where they're at. Chris, right now your dad's outside. He flew across the country to help. Okay. You're lying to him. You're lied to everyone you talk to. And they all bought it. Will you please help us find your babies? I want to find them. I've told you over and over, I want to find everyone. we go back to that night? Yeah. You know that we have texts, and we know that there's an Alexa in your house, mm -hmm. and you know that those are trained to record distress. Okay. You know that we know the content of Nikki's text messages and your text messages and Shanann's text messages. Okay. I didn't know you knew where Nikki was until right now, so. Okay. Tell us 
about that night again. And please tell the truth this time. I, I told you the truth. I, um, I promise I've told you the truth. Like, I woke up at 4 o'clock. I woke up at 4 o'clock. Got dressed, got ready. 4.15, me and Jeanette talk. About the house, about separation. Did you guys talk about Nikki? She, she accused me of like, all right, well, you know, is there somebody else? Sure. I didn't say it. You denied it? Yeah. Okay. Because she brought up like, you know, like, well, was there a sixty eight dollar charge at the um, end of the other night? Okay. Was there two of you? And then was with two of you, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. That's me. Okay. So it sounds like at that time there was maybe you weren't quite ready to just say, so I this is not everything. I couldn't. I couldn't say it. Okay. We were already crying hard enough. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't say that. Okay. What did you say? I just told her like, oh, this separation has to go. I want separation. Okay. Was it her idea to sell the house of yours? She initiated the realtor the week before in an email. Why? Because we were talking about we, the marital issues. She's like, well, you can't live afford to live on her own. Well, she can't afford to live on her own. I can't afford to live on her own. So she's like, we need it. Contact man. Okay. See. And who did you contact? Well, she contacted Ann, our realtor. Ann? Yeah. Okay. Would Ann say the same thing that your wife con initiated the contact? Yeah. Okay. She would. And then on Monday, I was I texted her to see if she could, what she could do. Okay. And that's in there too. You fired and that. Tell me about the pregnancy. Was that your idea or hers? She said it was about. She was about eighty twenty. Well, I was about, I wanted to the pros and cons of it. Like, after she got, after she got pregnant, she told her by that it was mainly my idea. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, it was, I, I wanted a boy. Did you want to get pregnant? Mm hmm Okay. And then, after the fact, she said it was mainly me that wanted it, and she was about, you know, she was like 70, 30 against it at that point. Like, she would tell her friends that. Yeah. And I was just like, what, 70, 30 against it? Like, why? Mm -hmm. Can you understand that some of this just doesn't make sense? I know. Okay. How is it possible that a woman and two kids are just completely gone off the face of the earth? I promise you, I have I have nothing on my hands that's I did nothing to those kids or her to make them vanish. So tell me what happened then. I believe you that, that you did nothing on your hands. What happened? When I left, I mean, it's on video that I left and no, I was in my truck. I didn't like load anything into my truck besides my tools, my container, my book bag, my water jug, my lunchbox. Okay, but then what happened? I drove out of the driveway. No, before you drove out of the driveway. What happened with your wife and your kids? I didn't do anything like that. They were still in the house. Where are they? Where did they go? I don't know, sir. I really don't know. Your wife's not the type of person to vanish. I know she's not. She had ten things on her schedule that meant she was going to be there the next day, that day, the yeah. day after that, with friends, with a doctor. Okay? She didn't leave because she wanted to. Okay. Right. So what happened? I didn't do anything to her or the kids. Was it an accident? I didn't do anything. Was it an accident? No. There was no accident. I don't know if there was an accident in the house. I wasn't there for it. It's a big deal if it's an accident because we can work with that, Chris. No. And and there's I think no, that's maybe what happened. There's no, I did not cause an accident. I didn't do anything to my wife and kids. Was it a misunderstanding? There's no misunderstanding. Like, we had that talk. There was a misunderstanding where I, I didn't tell her about the affair. Okay. I didn't. That, okay. that was the misunderstanding. Like, sure. miscommunication, yeah, misunderstanding. Yeah, good. But I probably should have told her right then, honestly. I mean, everything was out on the table, anyways. Right. I should have told her right then. But I didn't, because I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. What was your plan? What were you going to do? I mean, how was the separation going to work? Like, 
once we got separated, I would get my own place, and then we, I mean, 50 50 split with the kids, that's what I was hoping. Mm-hmm. What about Nikki? Take it slow and just see if, the, you know, if anything develops, like when I'm, you know, at my own place. Okay. I just, I just find it hard to hear you talk about just having this emotional, you know, conversation with Shanann and you're bawling and crying together and you have not shed one tear in two days that you've been here. No, not one. And I, help me understand that because I don't get it. You're, these are your baby girls and you have not shed one tear over them not being around. Chris, I, 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 I lose my four-year-old in the store for 10 seconds and I start to go panic. Panic. I have not seen any of that from you. At all. Help me understand I, that. I love those girls. I, I would never do any of this because I haven't shed a tear. You get yeah, well, that's weird. I, Is I, that I, weird? I, I, don't, don't look into that like I don't love my well, kids. Tell me, my explain wife. to me. You're, you're crying with your wife that you're leaving her. Yeah. But you don't cry that your two little baby girls. I'm hoping are they're still around. Some. I'm hoping they're still somewhere. Yeah, but you alive. don't have them right now. You're I not know. reading stories to them at night. I know. You're not giving them midnight snacks. You're not giving them their medicine. You're not waking up with them in the morning. I know this. Like I. So that I, should cause you pain. It does cause me pain. But I don't see that. I, I don't see that. I want to see I, the Chris that cares. I want to see I, the Chris that you know, feels bad about what he did and wants to, you know, get this off his chest and be done with this and let us find your little girls so that they're not out there in the middle of a field or whatever somewhere. Like, don't do that. I, I love those girls to death. Then show us that. Show us that. Show this us this Chris, that not this Chris. I'm not, I'm not showing you that I'm, I'm showing you the Chris that cares about his girls and his wife. Just because I haven't shed a tear, it shouldn't make you feel like I haven't, that the love isn't there for them. It's weird. It doesn't I'm, make sense. I'm, I understand that. You, you have to... I, 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 see I that. totally see where you're coming from. Trust me, like, there's nothing... I, just because Chris, I... Chris, people can be pushed to the point where they do something that they regret. It happens I'm, every single day. I uh, know. But part but, of what makes you a man is the guy that goes really fucked up but this is what I did and I'm going to pay for what I did and I'm going to tell you what I did and I'm going to be honest about it Chris we can keep talking to you once we find these girls okay so once we find these girls and your wife right no matter how we find them no matter what condition they're in we can keep talking to you and you can tell us guys it's not as bad as it looks and you can say let me tell you what happened? I was never comfortable with you, Graham, or with you, Tam. No, I wasn't comfortable yet. But now that everything's known, now that these girls are found and Shanann's found, however they're found, it's okay. We can keep talking to you. Okay. Chris, did Shanann do something to them? No, I don't know. I'm serious. I, I have no clue. No, you wouldn't know because they didn't leave the house. Like, what, did Shanann do something to them, and then did you feel like you had to do something to Shanann? <laughs> The, the, they were at the house when I left. They were there. They weren't there. They didn't leave. They vanished. They were the dead. only way they could have left is in your truck. There's no way, because like, I didn't just throw them in, in my truck. But they, you know your truck has GPS, yes. right? Yes. Because you told your boss, like, yes. hey, I'm going to separation, I'm maybe staying yes. at a friend's house, whatever. You know that thing pings every 10 seconds? Yep. So we will know exactly I know. where you went. And your company's giving that to us. I know. Okay. Are we not asking the right questions, Chris? No, you're, not, you're asking all the, cross, all the questions. What are we not asking you right? What, what are we doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Did Shanann do something? She 
do anything to these kids. We both love them with all our hearts. There's no way. It could have been an accident. Something happened in the house that you know about. You failed the polygraph test, Chris. This is not about did you leave and your wife vanished and you didn't know anything about it. That was not what you were asked, okay? Okay. We know that something happened to all three of them. But I want to know, did something happen to these baby girls first that you had to take into your own hands and deal with? You had to clean it up for us, Chris, you got to tell us. There's something that happened to these baby girls. Look at them. I know. Before he came in, I was watching videos. We have no doubt you love these girls with all of your heart. I have no doubt. But we make mistakes. And that's okay. It's what we do with those mistakes that make us who we are. Chris, it seems like you're thinking about it right now. What are you thinking about? She could have. I feel like you cleaned up for her. I feel like that's the type of guy that you are. Which one of these has the breathing thing? Well, they both have inhalers, but she, she has the EOE. The encephalitis lepidus. Does she have problems breathing? And probably like with her allergies and whatnot, like if she had anything nice, but she's had two of the endoscopies and everything in the surgeries I told you about. Do you think she had trouble breathing that night? And she had freaked out? And didn't want to live without her, her baby girl? I don't think so. Did you hear about the homicide that happened in Aurora where the guy beat that family to death with a ball peen hammer? Mm -hmm. The only person that survived was a three-year-old sibling. And that sibling grew up to be a total mess. No family, no mom and dad, no brother or sister. Just her by herself. She says, I wish I could have died with them. And there are times that people freak out. I've seen it. I mean, I've been in law for some, for almost 20 years. I've seen it. Parents freak out, and they're like, oh my God, like, I can't have my baby girls live without each other. They're best friends. They're like twins. They're, you know, they wake each other up in the morning. And I understand um. that. We had a mom in Castle Rock that suffocated both her baby girls. She's like, I just, my husband was going to take them. And she's like, I just couldn't, just couldn't handle I thought I was doing right by them. I thought I was saving them pain. And I get it. Why? Why was she saving the pain? She didn't want them to have to live without their mom. Chris, this is a weight that's going to be on you for the rest of your life until we resolve it tonight. Unless we can talk about this more tonight, this is going to follow you forever. I promise you, when you start talking to us, you will feel better. I know you already feel better about getting the Nikki off your chest. Please don't, please don't like involve her in the news or anything like that. She can't do that. You gotta help me. I know. Chris, we're giving you a lifeline right now. You need to take it. You need to reach out and take it. Did it look like this the night, the last night you were with him? She had that dress on, like, on the 8th or 9th. It wasn't this. But she had that dress on. Cause I remember I had uh, two buttons on the back. I'd take them off so I'd get her pajamas on that night. Did you guys make sure they were warm when they left the house? 
make sure they were warm. And they're they're always warm. They're they always have when they're in their beds they're always warm. Okay. Were you just taking care of them at the very end? I wouldn't. They're always they're they're always taken care of. They're always they never miss a meal. them out of the house with their blankets and their animals. Like, that's because you cared. That's what a caring dad does. I mean, I'm always caring for these kids. There's no, nothing in this, in this world. They're my life. I believe that. I believe that, and I believe someone made a mistake, whether it was you, you or Shanann. And you either cleaned up after Shanann or you made the mistake and I mean, I want to believe that maybe Shanann did it and you felt compelled to fix this so Shanann didn't look bad. That's what I, that's what I want to believe. But I don't know, you're not telling me that, so it makes me think the worst. Like, did you? I did not do anything. All three of them? I like did not do anything in this case. Not do anything. What did she need to do? Tell us, Chris. Chicks are crazy. Can I have talk to my dad or something? Absolutely. Do you want to bring him in here? No, uh, I just can't talk to my dad. I flew across the country. He crashed. I can't. How about this? If we brought your dad in here, would you please tell him what happened? I just go talk to him. I've been in here for like five or six hours and I'm like, absolutely. Chris, look at me, man. It's not going to feel any better. He deserves an answer. It's your best friend. There's only one person you wanted here most, and that's your dad. Yes. What would you tell him? Uh, I I love him and I don't I just I just want him to be by my side. Okay. He knows more than we do that you're a good man. And he knows as much as you want to protect Sh um, your wife, Shana. I think he would tell you to do the right thing. Before we get him, can I go out there and talk to him? Well, I don't know that you want to do it out there because there's a lot of people going through the halls. Should we bring him in here? We'll step out. Okay. Do you need to be minutes with him? Okay. okay. Can we just ask a couple more questions? It seems like you're about to get it off your chest. Is there any way that you can help us understand more about Shanann and why maybe something happened? So that we don't get a bad picture about her. And what I mean is, what happened that night with her? So I think after I talked to her, with the girls. It's like when we were having that conversation in bed there. Mm -hmm. Like when I when I talked to her about the separation and the house and mm -hmm. she asked me about the affair and, okay. and that's that's how that conversation went. Mm -hmm. God, she was distraught. She she had like mascara around her face, all that mm -hmm. and it was it was emotional. Well how about this? If we bring in your dad Will you promise me that you'll talk to him? I'll talk to him. Okay. Will you promise me that you'll tell him everything? Would it be easier if you told him and he told us? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be easier or not. I tend to think it's not. I think you're the type of guy that needs to take responsibility because you always have taken responsibility. You've always made the right choice. So. I guess I'm just worried that if we bring your dad in here, that could distract 
you. What do you think? It distract me from like talking to you? Yeah. I, I just I just need to talk to him. Okay. Alright. I know you'll do the right thing. I do. I don't know how long it's gonna take. stop loving you no matter what you tell him. You are his child and he will not stop loving you. Never. Never. And this is not the last chapter in anyone's story. At all. Okay. He's been here the whole time. You know, he, he didn't want to leave you. Have you ever seen... Uh, Sometimes when an animal's owner dies, they stick around forever. I think that's your dad. Poor guy didn't want to leave today, okay? So, keep that in mind. He wants to hear it all. Like, what else to say? Like, I see 
denied it.
girls.
人って経営でもらっていいずっと人って経営でもらっていいちょっと待って Are they all free out there, Chris? Yes. Okay. What was she doing to CC? She's just on top of the roof. My hands are on. Hands are on what? In the back. You saw it? I saw it on the monitor. Okay. And that's why I ran in there. What'd she say? They were off.
about it. Same with the kids then. You don't know. You don't know when you look at you. <laughs>
Chris, I know they're gone, but they're still your babies, and you're still their dad. And you don't want them out there. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want someone else to find them out there. You don't, I promise you. Give us a second so we can kind of get some things arranged. Okay. Do that. Okay. Ryan, do you want to stand in here with him? Okay. What the fuck are you doing? No, no, not tonight. I can't imagine it's not now. I, mean, I don't really have much say in that, but I can't, I can't see that. Do you want me to take you out to the lobby and you can go to the bathroom and then text your wife and stuff, talk to them? I want to go outside. Go yeah, outside. Go outside. Just watch the press people around. Yeah, I'll see if I'm out there. You want your water? You want to take your water with you? Yeah. We're going to try to do our best to make sure that we uh, you know, we don't stand to gain anything by broadcasting any of this. That's not what law enforcement is ever really about. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try our best to handle that as discreetly as possible. But they're pretty good at what they do, too. So I'm not from, uh, you're probably not from around here, neither, are you? Are you? Uh, I've only been here a few years. Okay. Yeah. Don't go to find a lawyer or something for not a public defender, but somebody else. We can talk about that, about that later. Yeah. 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 Get your phone. You know, you got it. Okay. Let's go this way. All right, we'll stop. So if you're afraid, we'll talk a little bit more. Um, I think we have a picture of, is it Survey 319? I think we have a picture. Um, kind of walk you through that. I'm sure you have a ton of questions for us about, you know, how your night, month, and week is going to look. telling him he wanted to show him that picture. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about how the rest of the night's going to go. Um, that looks familiar to you. What is that? It's the BRC Survey 319. Okay. Where about the Shanann and the girls? How old is this picture? Today. Oh, it's today.
the edge person in. Okay. And where are the girls at? Mm -hmm. In these? Mm -hmm. So which one is, do you know which one? Are they in the tanks? Can somebody who doesn't know what they're doing open those? Okay, it's easy to open What's them. What's in the tanks? It's a mixture of oil and water. There was a sheet found down here? Mm -hmm. yeah. What is that from? That was what Chanel was wrapped in. What about the girlies? What were they wrapped in? Just in the pajamas? Just in the pajamas? Not with their blankets or anything? Where did their blankets and toys and stuff go? Probably a little bit in the wind or something right here. Where did you set them or put them? It was right here with that. So how did you dig this out? I'm assuming that's under dirt. How did you dig that? Is that a shovel in that my truck as well as that? It's like a work shovel. Is it still there? How was Shanann touched? Sure, in the north. Is that what she got in the bed with? Do you remember what color her shirt on was her underwear? I think her shirt was either black or gray. I don't know where I was probably blue. How much time passed, do you think, from the time that she was back in the bed until you put them in the truck? We talk in minutes, hours, something else. From when I left, from when I left the house. No, like from when you got her in the bed to when you put her in the trunk. How long did that? How long a time was that? So like from when pushing her in my truck, from from the bed to the truck. Yeah, from your master bed to the truck. Yeah. Minutes. Okay. Are you talking about covering her up or something? No. And the sheet. Is there anything else about anything out here that has stuff that you've left in certain spots, or you sure their blankets and toys aren't going to be in there as well? Not because it was right here with this. Can you do me a huge favor and just write your name on the bottom? Just so I know that we didn't make those marks. I'm just going to write the date on it, okay? Eight fifteen eighteen. That's five fifty six. Was she wearing, was your wife wearing any shorts or pants or anything just under her? So okay. Do you remember what uh, they look like? Blue. Okay. Um, okay. And the girls, do you remember what their pajamas were? They're both, both nightgowns. Okay. Celeste, I think, was that pink one with the, like, curves on it. Okay. I think those was there had your corner believe on it or something. Okay. So it sounds like, I mean, it feels like to me now we know pretty well how to go get them. Is there anything else we need to know? Yeah. Is uh, does someone have to climb up to the top and 
unscrew something and then lower something down to get them? They're like just a hatch from the top and they're like 20 foot tanks. How far down are they? That, wherever the food level was in the tank, I'm not sure. Okay. What was it when you were there? I don't know. I didn't. Okay. I wasn't looking for that. Okay. Alright. You may go out there or no? I don't think so. Would you prefer not to? Uh, I didn't know if you needed help going getting there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think once we got that picture, because we didn't really know um, how much uh, about the location that the other police officers knew, but it sounds like they knew somehow right, right how to get to 319. So, and I think that's how they got that picture. Does your um, does your nanny cam? Do you have a nanny cam, right? It's a monitor. Baby monitor. Is it, is it a video one? It's like it cycles back and forth between what? Bell and CC's room. Oh, okay. Okay. Is there any chance it records? No. Okay. I'm just wondering, what do you think? What do you think ultimately made um, Shanann snap? Knowing that that had an affair, or and she knew she just needed me to admit it, and I would admit it. Yeah. Okay. So we just started talking about. Um, I asked if there's any chance that the nanny cam could have recorded Shanann doing what she did, um, and then we kind of we were just getting into, you know, what Chris thinks about why she snapped. Mm -hmm. Um. He's, he's just saying distressed from knowing about the other girl. Um, knowing, but she didn't really know, right? I mean, in her heart, she thought she, she knew. She just wanted me to admit it. Can we talk about a couple tough things? Um, I think we need to get it out of the way and just really get it out. Um, just to make sure you have every chance to explain exactly what happened and we have every chance to ask questions. Um, so the conversation happened. You go downstairs. She's still upstairs. And then you see what? I hear this commotion upstairs. Just like, you know, like, like what noises like that. Okay. I didn't think anything of it. That's when I was walking up from the back. Okay. 
I see you saw from the back. Yeah. Okay. But she was doing this. It looked, it looked like it was like this. Yeah. Okay. And then was she she face up, face down, what? Off to the side. Oh, she was laying on her side. Okay. And that's when I pulled her off. And okay. She she. she was she's limp and she was blue. Okay. There was no movement at all. Oh. She was limp and blue, or limping and blue. Limp and oh, limp blue. and blue. Okay. It's like her body was like. Right. You pick her arm up and it turns false. Okay. Um, and then what happened? I looked at her and I just got on top of her and you got on top of Shanann? Did the same thing. Okay. Did you have to knock her down? No. She was already on the ground? I was like, I just pulled her off on the bed. And oh, kind of one move. Yeah. Okay. So it's not as though you no, I didn't pulled her off. off. No. Like I went up, pulled her down okay. and I did that. I, I didn't okay. know. I lost it. Sure. Okay. So Shanann was laying on the ground? On the bed. On the bed. Yeah, like when she was on top of the seat, I saw what was happening. Oh. I pulled her and went down. I'll How big was the bed? What kind of size can it fall clean? You know? I think it's a. Uh, it's probably a queen of some sort. Okay. I have a picture of it somewhere. I think. So where was the last in the She was all the way up to the top. To the top? Yeah. Now I had and down, it was across the like So she, she was laying, laying this way. That's how I was. Okay. And off the key room. Mm -hmm. So then, is this picture as you're standing in the doorway to go in? What is that? Is that where I And then, so were they closer to this side or this side? She usually sits in the middle. Okay. And then, so your wife was right on top of her. You could just see that. And then, did you pull her this way or that way? Or so to where her head was on this side. Right over here? Yeah. On the, on the left, as you're looking at it. Okay. Did she put up a fight? Oh, 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 I lost it so much that it didn't feel like she did. Okay. You're a pretty strong dude. Um, um, did she, was she yelling, was she screaming, was she talking, was she scratching you, nothing? Uh, I, I didn't even feel, I just, I just felt s such anger that not a, nothing, I didn't feel anything. Okay. Alright. Like if she did, nothing, nothing's on me. Was it quick, was it slow, was it? I was so numb, it felt like it was, it was over. Okay. Just, over fast? Okay. So like how is it possible her neck's broken? No, no, so okay. I don't know. I've never broken her bones, so I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Um was it a choke like this or was it like a headlock? A choke. Okay. Right. Can you put your hand out like you had your hand? Like that? Like that? And your wife, you saw her with one hand or two hands? I just kind of from the back, I couldn't really like tell. I don't know if she was on top of her. And the monitor's not like color, it's black and white. It's well, yeah. at nighttime, it's black and white. Okay. When it's dark. So you, because you went up the stairs, right, to talk to mm -hmm. Shanann again? And then, did you think it was weird that she saw in the room where you left her? Mm -hmm. So I walked in and looked around and saw the monitor and I saw Bella. And then switched over to CC pretty fast and that's when I saw that. And did you have any inkling that um, between the time that you finished the talk and the time that you found Shanann choking CC, you had no inkling she was going to do it? Sure. The Buffalo looks good more than no. Okay. And people, people in my family have always said she's unstable. My friends have said she's unstable, but I never like would have thought in a million fucking years. Who says she's unstable? 
my family, my friend Mark, people that have seen her around me. My a bad picture of her. Well, it doesn't look good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks actually pretty bad. And is, it, sorry, is it possible that when we get these girls, you know, uh, Bella, Cece, and Shanann, is it possible when we get them um, that we're going to see um, anything other than the cause of death being her hands? No. Okay. And what I mean by that, and I should be very clear, is that um, it, it's some, some of it's hard to believe that your wife did it, I don't know. right? You can imagine that. I don't know. Okay. So is it possible that maybe she um, did one, and then you got Shanann, so you did to Shanann what she did to one of your daughters, and then you had to just do it to the other one? No, no, no. Okay. So is there, there that's not, no, that's not what happened? No. Okay. Um, is it possible that, is there any other way where we might see your hands on the girl's neck? No. Lord, okay. No. okay. And you know what I mean? Because when we find their, their little bodies, oh, no. we're going to see the diameter of someone's hand yeah. and someone's fingers, right? So is it at all possible we're going to no. see yours? Okay. No. All right. And I know it's hard, and I know you're probably getting angry at my, my question, but we have to ask. Um, okay. What do you think of that, Chris? Let my family down. Let my dad down. Let my mom, sister, nephew, nieces, friends, co-workers. Everybody. Another tough question. You just get it all on the table. When you see Shanann choking, strangling Celeste, and you get her off of Celeste, do you think um, about calling an ambulance? How come? I saw a CTY in there blue and limp. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never seen something like that in my life. I mean, she just like lay over, like nothing was, she wasn't moving at all. No gas, no breath. So she was totally just blue. So Chris, doing this job for a long time. I know. I, uh, I know a lot of about psychology and as far as like what people are thinking. And most parents will never even want to fathom that their kid, their kid is dead. Even if their kid's stiff, blue, in bed, I mean stiff like been dead all night, they still call an ambulance to see if someone can revive their child. And they, when the ambulance get the, gets there and they're like, gosh, their kid's been dead all night, like there's nothing we can do. And the parents are like, what are you, why are you not doing something? What are you talking about? So that's what I'm, that's what we're used to. So I just, that's why I want you to explain to me like what was going on in your head and... The very and last felt for what she was, what she did. It just took over. But do you see that? I, that kind of I understand. Crazy. I, I see where you're coming from. Most parents would still try and call. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. I would hate for Shanann to get a bad rap if she didn't have anything to do with it. You know, it's not fair. I know. It's not fair. Like enough bad stuff has happened. I know. Like we need to stop the bad stuff from happening. So, you want to tell us the truth? That, that, is, that is the truth. It's not hurt So you're good with the public knowing that Shanann killed her daughters? I did not hurt these girls. 
Are you okay with the public knowing that Shanann? Yes, yeah, because I did not have these girls. Chris, I'm not sure I believe you.
hate for someone who can't defend themselves, like Shanann and Bella and Celeste. Like, I mean, if, if, if you're not being truthful about who took their lives, like, that's on them, too. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to do that to them. I'm not, I'm not doing that to them. I'm just saying. I mean, no, 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 I'm not doing that to them. I do think you were a good dad. I think you're. I think Shanann was a good mom. I think you guys were doing everything you could possibly do for those girls. I mean, look at them. Why didn't you put Shanann in the tanks? I didn't know what else to do. Was How far down is she? go up this ladder and like look in tanks. Mm -hmm. So how are you gonna avoid that? Or is it you that does that? Uh, anybody that goes to the location. How often is that done that those tanks are checked? And if they're making enough oil or whatnot, I mean once a week, maybe. So do you want someone to find them? No one else could do something. I did. That was the location I was going out to that morning. Anyway. And, and that's. I didn't know what else to do. So you weren't thinking that far ahead? No. Okay. Yesterday, when you were talking. And again, this is before we kind of got to this um, moment today. You mentioned that you know, we were talking. You said, I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. And then you said something along the lines of, whatever happened to them is act of pure evil. What did that mean? Is this the evil that I saw when I walked behind her and she was on top of the CC? And then I felt evil for what I did to Shanann. Okay. So, one other thing that doesn't make sense to me is, well, I don't know. Can you walk me through again? When you walked in, what did she look like? What did Shanann Chan look like? All you saw was her back. Was it the same shirt that you buried her in? Same underwear? And then was she wearing pajamas? Shanann? Yeah. No, that's, that's what she sleeps in. Oh, she sleeps in her underwear. Okay, and no pajamas, no shorts, nothing like that. So then, when you grab her, um, just as is, that's how she gets to the truck, that's how she gets to the site. So did Shanann ever go to bed? Like when I, I put her back in the bed? No, no, like when she got home. Mm -hmm. Did any of that happen where she, yeah. really, she got yeah. in bed and then you woke her up at four? Yeah. Like it's all yeah. that yeah. true? Because yeah. it sh looks like there's some purchase of some hair care products at like 2.30 in the morning. Do you know about that? Hair care products? Yeah. And her credit card was denied? No. You said you don't really use the credit card, so the credit card. credit card, no. Would you have bought hair care products at two thirty in the morning mm -hmm. that morning? No. Did she get mad at you because there's no money when she woke up? Like was that part of the? Uh, that was this the first I've heard of that. Okay. As far as hair care products and the car being denied. Okay. And I'm not lying about that. I'm just that's why I'm asking. No. That is from something that came up. Is there any reason she would have a black eye, Shania? No. 
not from a slap or a punch or nothing like that. Never. Okay. Punch or slap her. Is there any reason she would have a stab mark on her body? No. Okay. And no other reason for death. The coroner's not going to find rat poison in her stomach. Okay. The only way that she died, she was living, breathing, and wasn't living, breathing after your hands on her neck. Okay. talking to Nikki about before your wife got home? Before she got home? You talked for like several hours. I covered it. I mean, we talked a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Conversations. And just random conversations. We talked a lot. Does Nikki know about any of this? Seriously? No, she doesn't. No, like, I mean, she knows, like, with, from the news and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Did you share with her anything? Does she know your wife was pregnant? She does now. And I told her that. She didn't know at the time? How come you didn't tell her? I was scared too. I felt like, you know, like she wouldn't even, like, go on a date with me. And she knew that, so it was. Did she know you were married with kids? Yes. Okay. But just not pregnant. Yes. I told her that, you know, like, we were act we actively tried before we met. Oh, try to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she knew that. Um, you can imagine that when we go talk to people going forward, everyone's going to try to distance themselves from any of this. Yes. And so if what's going to happen when Nikki says no, it was our plan to kill everyone and run off together. She's not going to say that. Okay. We're going to talk to her. Absolutely. We have to. So can we get ahead of that for you? Can we get all of that out right now? I mean, so are you sure she's not going to say, oh, I kind of knew he was going to kill him? No. She's not going to say no. that? No. Okay. Um, and she's not going to say, boy, we were making plans about buying a house or an apartment. She going to say that? No, like, really the keys. Like, once I have my own place, like, we could, you know, like, hang out more. Okay. So after the separation, after that dust settled, then you would have availability to go see Nikki. And you guys had talks like that? Yeah, I mean, like, she generally like me. Okay. Please don't put her name out there in the news, though. She's been through enough in her life, so. Stuff like that, we we never try to put out. Well, I'm just knowing the press, if they got <coughs> into an affair, they would, they would drag her through the mud. I don't yeah. want that. Yeah. We're certainly not going to try to make that happen. It's fun to go on any of this. I know, because the press finds ways. It's not everything. So what do you think about everything now? Do you feel sorry for what you did? Of course, I would, I would have lost the control and got on top of the and did that. And then did that. What? Took him out to the little thing? Yes.
really good. I think you had about 24 hours of uh, just a hellish nightmare thrust upon you, and you know you certainly knew what you did, but I think you took a lot of steps to make it better today. Sorry, I left you last night. I'm sorry if I did you good. Not okay. I thought you were here for a reason. Well, there's a reason why I didn't. That I came in because. Yeah. There's a reason why I didn't come in with a lawyer either. So it's like, kind of this, this is gonna happen. So. I appreciate that. You know, eventually they were going to find uh -huh. them out there. So, I mean, it was kind of inevitable. And then you would have just been sitting at home waiting for that moment to happen. And then what? Then what does it look like? It looks... There's many people that say that you're an amazing guy and you would never do anything bad and never has never lost your temper and you know all those people that say that about you. There's just as many that would say that about Shanann. Yeah. So we're gonna struggle with that for a while. Yeah. I'm struggling with it right now. I'll be I know. honest. I know you are. I'm a mom. Okay. Anybody you know? would. How do we prove best that she ended it? I came in. Oh yeah, I got that. It's the only thing. We're gonna we're gonna see her hand marks. The hand marks are not there. Okay. But there are gonna be hand marks, like they weren't smothered, you think? I don't I shouldn't have been smothered, no. And Bella I don't know, but she 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 was on top of her and her head she side. And there was no pillow on top of her. I didn't see you on the up. camera off. I didn't see you on top of her. No. Why were there sheets in the trash in the kitchen? Because uh, those are the same ones out there. I didn't know what else to do. I knew eventually I was going to figure out a fine chin I mean, because. So is she know. still wrapped in the sheet in, down in here? Mm -hmm. It was just laying off to the side, or maybe the wind took it. So it's right here now. Yeah. It was just next to the side. Yeah. Like you didn't even try and hide that. But I, I, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. Okay. Did someone uh, did someone come up on you or something? No. Oh okay. yeah. Were you afraid they were going to start showing up? I knew they they were on their way out there, but I mean, it's a long way out there. So I know. Um, and before I forget. I know that they collected a lot of electronics out of your house, mm -hmm. like routers and that kind of stuff. Um, like that's not going to show that she was using her phone like at a time that you said mm -hmm. she was strangling the kids or mm -hmm. something, right? Okay. Do you what is the password to like all the electronics in your house? I know there was an iPad. iPad should be two three eight five. Two three eight five. Um, is there a there's not one for the Apple Watches, is there? Should be 2385. Is that for yours too? Uh, 3387. I'm sorry, what was yours? 2387. 2387. Um, and what other stuff do you have? Is there a router, like your password for that stuff? Shiny Chair 6. Okay. Came with the router. And spell for me. Uh, S H I N Y C H A I R six number six. Like that. Shiny chair six. Yes. And then what else is was in there? Is there a desktop computer? Yeah, that one. Yes. If it has a password, it'd be um, four two eight four nine one five capital S or case W. Okay. And what about, is there anything else in the house as far as electronics go, tablets, 
Well, the iPad's the only real stuff. The other one does the kid stuff, but there's like, they're just like Amazon Fires or whatnot. Okay. And you you have an iPhone what? Which one? Is that your personal one? Yes, iPhone like it's, it's a 7 plus or something. What's the password to that one? 3387. And what about your work phone? Same. Is that this one here? Mm -hmm. And obviously Shanann had a iPhone, right? Mm -hmm. And what was her password? So it changed to 013119. What was that password? The uh, due date the next day. Okay. Nikki told me that one. Nicole told me that one. Okay. So me, Nikki's yeah, we know that. I was getting us very confused. So no other electronics. Uh, what about the Echo? Does it have a password? If it does, I never knew if it did or not. Okay. You just say Alexa and it starts listening. Oh, it's an Alexa? Is it the Echo still? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The product's called an Echo. Okay. Any other ones that you can think of? Where do you guys think? Chase in USA. Which one was the, um, when you went out to dinner with Nikki? Chase. That was no, Chase. And USA, is that mortgage? Is that bank? Is that uh, Chase is our mortgage lender. Okay. Do you have checking to them too, right? Yes. What do you guys use USA for? Uh, we use that to pay mortgage too, but okay. it's just another, she had that before she met me. Okay. And any accounts that you had personally beyond all of this? Mm -hmm. Okay. the um, security system. There's a five minute, right? Vivint, yeah. Vivint. It's either going to be 3387 or 2385. One of the two. And the passcode, like, like is Mustang for the days you have to talk to them. Verbal passcode. And then what email is associated with that? ShananWatts.gmail.com Do you know her Gmail password? It could be that 428-1115. Uh, it should, any of her, if most of her password do that. Okay. Amazon and everything. And yeah, what is that, is that a phone number you say? Yeah. What phone number is that? Her ex-husband's mom. <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> you stick with the password. She just remembers it. She said it that really long. They were really good friends. Oh, okay. So she just kept it. Do you have any other questions for us? Here's the bathroom. Yes, of course. Um, we need to do one quick thing. Now that we know what we know, um, we're going to. Um, I need to check that you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Okay. Um, we'll do that. We'll go to the bathroom. I'm not going to go in the stall with you, but I'm going to go with you. Um, and then we'll come right back here and we'll make a decision about how the rest of the night goes. All right, so you might stand it up so I can check.
just for everyone's protection, I'm going to leave that recording. Okay. Um, yes.